influencing others to trust in the Lord. Other nations with whom the children of Israel would be in contact with would know of the Lord God from the reports of the work of the Lord God for the children of Israel, that the Lord God was the one true God, was the message which went with the children of Israel. There will always be a way for others to be prepared for the Lord God's redemptive salvation by the Lord God's future working in and around the lives of his people, he is made known. From reports of those that really did not know the Lord God for themselves, who had contact with the children of Israel, the Lord God's chosen people, we have in the Bible many reports of the Lord God's influential and unforgettable, powerful working. By having an effect on the children of Israel, the works of God being accepted by those that really did not know the Lord God for themselves, but witnessed the Lord God working, or had heard of the Lord God working. A few Bible reports which were given follow. Joshua 2.10 For we have heard how the Lord dried up the water of the Red Sea for you when ye came out of Egypt, and what ye did unto the two kings of the Amorites that were on the other side of Jordan, Sihon and Og, whom ye utterly destroyed. Joshua 9.9 9. And they said unto him, From a very far country thy servants are come, because of the name of the Lord thy God, for we have heard the fame of him and all that he did in Egypt. Second Samuel seven twenty two, Wherefore thou art great, O Lord God, for there is none like thee, neither is there any God beside thee, according to all that we have heard with our ears. 1 King 20, 31 And his servants said unto him, Behold, now we have heard that the kings of the house of Israel are merciful kings. Let us, I pray thee, put sackcloth on our loins and ropes upon our heads and go out to the king of Israel. Preadventure, he will save thy life. I especially love the report which is identified in God's word and associated with the kings of the house of Israel as being themselves merciful kings. Remembering that the Lord God they were to represent to the other nations credited himself for in his glory being merciful following the commands of the Lord God, even to their enemies, the kings of the house of Israel, in following the laws of the Lord God, were seen as being merciful. First Chronicles 17.20 O Lord, there is none like thee, neither is there any God beside thee, according to all that we have heard with our ears. Acquaintance with the Lord recognized. One of the most joyful reports of the Lord's victory over a wicked nation and the praise of the Lord by reports which they had heard was the report of the harlot Rahab. The report not only gives awareness of the children of Israel being seen as specially blessed and victorious because they worship the true God, but also there is recognition of Rahab from reports of her gaining faith in the true Lord God because of the reports she had received. For those of us who ourselves have learned to trust and abide in the Lord God, 
there is given by the statements of gained faith the open opportunity for us to truly rejoice in the Lord's loving kindness. The Lord Jesus has for those who are not at first his own to become purposefully knowledgeable of the difference he makes in a person or a nation's life. With Rahab in her speaking of the Lord and using the term Lord says to me the Holy Spirit was working in her heart, spirit and mind. The final outcome of our acquaintance with our Lord God and from others observing the Lord God's working in us and through us should definitely be that there is none like the Lord God and that he is the Lord of our lives. For it to be recognized by those observing us that there is no God besides the Lord God, it takes the Lord's presence in our lives in order for us to give a living testimony of the Lord. Joshua 2, 1 through 11. And Joshua, the son of Nun, sent out of Shittim two men to spy secretly, saying, Go, view the land, even Jericho. And they went and came into an harlot's house named Rahab and lodged there. And it was told the king of Jericho, saying, Behold, there came men in hither tonight of the children of Israel to search out the country. And the king of Jericho sent unto Rahab, saying, Bring forth the men that are come to thee, which are entered into thine house, for they be come to search out all the country. And the woman took the two men and hid them, and said thus, There came men unto me, but I wist not whence they were. And it came to pass about the time of shutting of the gate, when it was dark, that the men went out. Whither the men went, I wot not. Pursue after them quickly, for ye shall overtake them. But she had brought them up to the roof of the house and hid them with the stalks of flax which she had laid in order upon the roof and the men pursued after them the way to Jordan unto the Floyds and as soon as they which pursued after them were gone out they shut the gate before they were laid down she came up unto them upon the roof and she said unto the men, I know that the Lord hath given you the land, and that your terror is fallen upon us, and that all the inhabitants of the land faint because of you. For we have heard how the Lord dried up the water of the Red Sea for you when ye came out of Egypt, and what she did unto the two kings of the Amorites that were on the other side of Jordan, Sihon and Og, whom he utterly destroyed. And as soon as we had heard these things, our hearts did melt. Neither did there remain any more courage in any man because of you. For the Lord your God, he is God in heaven above and in earth beneath.